The age-long question that humans have been asking themselves and definitely not something forced upon us in the IB. As in, what if we kissed in the phospholipid bilayer? It has an overly complicated name which makes you sound cool. Phospholipid sounds very technical and it's a bilayer which appeals to the LGBTQ community. Lesbians, gays, bilayers, transgenders, etc. With no research from the top of my head and only knowledge from the IBDP, I can tell you that the phospholipid bilayer consists of phospholipids made of a phosphate head and lipid tails. The lipids fear water and are hydrophobic, not to be confused with homophobic, and the phosphates love water as much as Kanye likes Hitler. So the phosphates form the outer layer to protect the lipids from the water to form the bilayer, which is wet outside and dry inside. Like your mom? And then you pop some carrier proteins in there, which help facilitate diffusion across the membrane. And then bop bop, yeah, you got your phospholipid bilayer, or as I like to call it, the PP layer. Please, can the phospholipid man just kill me? I've drawn this phospholipid too many times. These phospholipids form all your cell walls and vesicles, which are little spheres that transport stuff. Very cool. Once I told my fellow bio student to do the word phospholipid bilayer for hangman. And when she wrote the spaces for the letters, boss music started playing like Amogus. So yeah, the phospholipid bilayer is super cool. So all the cool kids go kiss in it. It would be pretty vibey. Like, don't, don't even lie. The water surrounding you, all, you're all dry inside and you can shuffle around the lipid tails. That's about it. Just wanted to talk about the phospholipid bilayer. I'm Zafbabs Explains and I make videos about random facts and what ifs and story time videos. If you're an IB homie, you only have to draw 500 more phospholipid bilayers, carbon cycles, and celebrity diagrams to entertain yourself in class. As always, see y'all next time, my sexy likers.